Hello, my name is Ed Chapman. I'm the Vice President of the Product Management for Cisco's Server Access Virtualization Business Unit. I want to give you some exciting news about our Premier Access uh, solutions in the data center, the Nexus 5000 and 2000 family. Now this product family is our Premier Data Center Access solution. It provides the ability for our customers to take their legacy servers today, which are primarily connected via gigabit ethernet, provide that solution to the Nexus 2000, and then give them the ability to migrate from gigabit ethernet to 10 gigabit ethernet in unified fabric. And this solution is great because it provides some incredible CapEx and OpEx savings I'll talk about later, but it gives you that ability to build the data center today that you're going to utilize tomorrow. If you're using virtualization, using such things as VMware's uh, hypervisor capabilities where you're going to have virtual machines, you're going to want a solution that provides you the ability to have a single connection to those servers that can provide not only IP connectivity, but fiber channel over Ethernet connectivity, NFS, SIFs, file servers, as well as high performance compute and low latency connections. And quite frankly, the Nexus 5000-2000 family is our premier product for those, for, the, for those types of solutions. First of all, we've seen a tremendous amount of acceptance of this product. Uh, we've shipped over 250,000 uh, 10 gigabit Ethernet ports with the Nexus 5000. And you know, quite frankly, um, you know, this has been a premier solution for data center access at 10 gig. Our analysis indicates we've got well over 50% of the market share for 10 gigabit Ethernet access. And in combination with this, uh, the Nexus 2000 family has shipped well over 650,000 1 gigabit Ethernet ports. And I'll give you some examples of this. University of Arizona, um, which is a customer success story you can see on uh, Cisco.com, they saw a 50% CapEx savings going to a unified FCOE fabric utilizing the Nexus 5000 platform. Let me translate that into real dollars for you. When they uh, were building out their next generation architecture for the data center, and oddly enough, you know, in this macroeconomic climate, universities are really struggling for money, and they had the same issue. But what they saw was an opportunity to really generate some savings going to an FCOE infrastructure. So they took their legacy topology from a server perspective, which comprised of roughly three to four gigabit Ethernet interfaces plus two fiber channel interfaces, and saw the opportunity using Unified Fabric can consolidate those down to two 10 gigabit Ethernet interfaces with the capability of running fiber channel over Ethernet. What does this translate into? Well, in their case, it translated into a 50% reduction in CapEx. It went from $1.2 million in terms of the cabling infrastructure, networking infrastructure to support their legacy environment to $600,000. Now, I think we all can say a 50% reduction in cost is something significant, something we can sell it to the CIOs. And if you can imagine a university and their ability to go up and save that amount of money is rather significant. They saw some additional benefits associated with this too. They saw a 30% decrease on a per port basis in the amount of power that's being consumed in that data center environment. What does that allow them to do? Well, it gives them the capability of extending the life of their data center because they don't need to build out another data center because they don't have enough power to drive into that. And as you can imagine, it's Arizona, it's rather hot there, it really drove down the cost significantly from a power and cooling perspective in that environment. Salem Hospital, uh, another one of our success stories out on our website, saw the same sort of savings. Very consistent, you know, roughly about you know, 40 to 50 percent capex savings, same 30 percent opex savings in terms of the power consumed. And this was a great win for Cisco and I think it'd be a great win for you from an architectural standpoint where they had an end-to-end -end Nexus architecture, including our Nexus 1000V, which is a virtualization uh, switch that ships with v VMware vSphere 4.0, so that, that opportunity to get that leverage point and visibility into the virtual world as well as the physical world in combination with the Nexus 2000 providing that one gig uh, capability to the servers, Nexus 5000 providing that unified fabric for FCOE capability to the servers as well as 10 gig connectivity, our Nexus 7000 product which provided that core and aggregation for high, high speed, high density uh, I.O. from a Layer 2 and Layer 3 perspective. Again, we're using the same operating system, the Nexus OS from that Nexus 1000 down at the virtual world to the Nexus 7000, plus our MDS, which is essentially a SAN switch, fiber channel switch that provides that legacy connection for fiber channel connectivity from fiber channel or Ethernet at the host that we're providing for Salem down to their existing SAN infrastructure. By the way, that also operates NXOS. Not only did they see the same sort of cost savings that our friends at University of Arizona saw, but they see, saw the same OPEX savings. So it's been validated through two customer success stories you can see on our website. In addition to Salem Hospital, we've got some other great customer success stories such as Coca-Cola Bottling Company, 
NetApp, and St. Joseph Health System. So please take a look at our website of customer success stories. I thank you for your time, and I look forward to speaking with you.